Hello, I'm Jag from Local Drop with one of my favourite wines at the moment, 2017 Isway Robin Les, with one of my favourite humans, Brian Thank you, Conway mate. from Isway Wines. Feelings mutual. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Um, we've sold a truckload of this. Um, when we put it in the mixed boxes, people try it, they call us straight away and they order sixes and twelves and just put them down for years. So it's 30 bucks. Um, I love it because it's super elegant. It always hits me whenever I drink it. Uh, it's balanced. It's not headache inducing, you know, painful the next morning. It's just a beautiful Barossa Shiraz. Depends how many bottles you drink really, but still you come. You come <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about if this was a cricketer, which cricketer it would be. And I think we've settled on Mark Wall. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You and Mark Wall, it's more sort of Clive Lloyd, but um, but I reckon a combination of both. They're both pretty classic, yeah. classic players. But yeah. Any contemporary Australian cricketers? I think probably. Can we think don't of any? Need to talk who? about anything contemporary at the moment. I'd imagine we'll just leave that. Let's talk about no, the 90s. Who? Probably talk about the Halcyon days. <laughs> McGrath Warren. McGrath. Yeah, yes, it's definitely yes. not a Warren. No, it's no. Not, it's not a Warren. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we sell a truckload. It's fantastic booze. We got Brian in just to tell us a little bit about the vintage and what went into making the wine for 2017. Yeah, cheers. Uh, thank you, and uh, thanks to all the loyal local drop customers and uh, and you, Jack. My pleasure. Um, so the 17 vintage was uh, it's a bit of a leaner vintage for Shiraz. Um, a bit of um, yeah, just a bit lighter, but obviously this has still got a fair bit of body to it, mm. but just more in terms of the previous vintages like the 16. The, 15 and 14 there was a fair bit more body nothing ever cloying but just a little bit more richness to it yeah and this is just kind of this is just hits the mark straight away whereas those wines needed a couple of years really to settle into themselves um you know our customers didn't give them give that give the wine that much time <laughs> they just yep. drank it but this is a wine that really delivers delivers straight away um very fresh vibrant about 600 liters of this wine actually uh is from uh, the don you know our don wine yep. our, our 160 dollar bottle so that usually goes into this wine certainly from the 16 and uh, 17 vintages and that's given that, that a little bit more of heart and sort of that finish and poise on the finish um, the Koleski, the um, Andy Koleski's vineyard the hillside vineyard you yeah. always gives it that lift and prettiness um, and yeah just 17 is a it's an absolutely delicious vintage for Shiraz and particularly for Grenache I think you can see that the lightness of this, it wouldn't surprise you that the Grenache has come out, have come up so well in the Barossa, but yep. yeah, this is an absolutely smashable wine and not always wanting to, I, I don't jump into the, it tastes like a French wine sort of thing, I don't believe in that, it, it tastes like a Barossan wine yep. to me, a classic Barossan wine, but I must say, I will jump into that <laughs> for a moment, it's got a little a little bit of that Saint-Joseph about it, um, in, in like mm. a young Saint-Joseph. But not, you know, now a lot of Saint Josephs are made quite serious, but yep. when you sort of, if you had one by maybe in the mid 90s to early 2000s, it was more that really delicious, vibrant wine. Tannins there, but nothing too dominant, and just really pretty on the nose and expressive, and yeah, a, a nice wine. Hopefully that explains a bit about the, the 17 vintage. Yep. Any more questions except about contemporary? <laughs> um, yes, I do. Could you tell the audience the days you pick the fruit, how you choose that day? Okay, so probably about the last five or so years, Craig, uh, Craig Isbell, my, my great mate, uh, has made all the picking decisions. Um, based on me not living in the Barossa and Craig having a dearth of experience there with the, the, uh, the different terroirs, um, yeah, I gave that uh, mantle to him as opposed to me, you know, saying, making dual decisions during vintage, and he nails it. Yep. Um, probably the key decision Craig made was uh, in 2014, to make sure we pick our fruit on fruit days. And we found, by virtue of that, um, all the wines have a much more expressive um, energy. Uh, the, the nose is really vibrant, but also there's much more energy yeah. on the palate. And we haven't we haven't changed our winemaking. Our winemaking's been the same, really. I think we kind of got to a point in about 2013, yeah. after making wines, and, Really the truck, just bear with us for a moment because we've right. been filming this a lot. <laughs> We're going to keep going. Um, yeah, it's just just um, more expressive wines, yeah. more energy, and uh, I think you could probably attest to that in terms of some of our older vintages you've had. 
beautiful wines, yep. but probably um, lacking that a little bit uh, of the energy that you see now in the wines. Complete elegance every time. Yeah, I think this one is it's a very elegant Shiraz, absolutely. Yep. Fantastic. So thank you. Hope you enjoy this at some point. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, mate. Ta-da. Bye.